This is twice the amount of money that 1,000 views on YouTube can earn you. But if 1,000 views only earns enough for a double-double animal style, hold the fries because In-N-Out fries are trash, how are small and even mid-sized creators earning a living online? Let's start with the obvious answer. The YouTube Partner Program is a big player out there, but let's talk about a few things to watch out for. First are the eligibility requirements. YouTube won't let you monetize until you have 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 hours of public watch time over the last 12 months. If you're already in the YouTube Partner Program, there's another limitation to consider. YouTube doesn't actually pay you for video views. They pay for ad views, and skipped ads don't count towards that total. I know it's a bit of a technicality, but it is worth knowing going into all these conversations. So while $18 per thousand ad views sounds great, all those skipped or unclicked ads translate to around three to $5 per thousand views. TikTok, Snapchat, and Instagram all pay creators directly too through creator funds, bonus programs, and various other methods. The problem with creator funds, which we've talked about before on this channel, is that the targets for monetization are always moving and payouts fall dramatically when the platform user base goes up. This has been a problem on TikTok for a while, but Instagram's Reels Play bonus, which was created in part to compete with TikTok, has also slashed payouts recently. That's a lot of doom and gloom, but just because you can't rely on partner programs for consistent, predictable income doesn't mean that all hope is lost. Growing your audience is where these platforms excel, and more new followers means more people you can direct towards the most lucrative way to monetize your following. Other methods are fine to monetize a side hustle or passion project, but if you're serious about making content full time, you need your own platform where you're in control of how your content is presented and priced, you aren't dependent on an algorithm, and you have the tools to sell your content through subscriptions or one-time purchases. Uscreen does all of this and more. But wait, I can already hear you asking. My audience is on Instagram or YouTube. How do I get them to go from that platform to my paid platform and stick around? The answer is just a simple shift in thinking. Instead of viewing social media as the platform for your monetization, it should instead be viewed as a marketing tool that makes you a little bit of extra side money. You can use your current social media presence to grow and nurture a community of followers who are eager to support you, and when they want more, you can send them to your premium offerings. An example of a creator who leverages their social media following this way is Body by Mac. Her Instagram alone has a million followers, but that's not where she sells her workout programs. From Instagram, she directs her audience to her own landing page, which features her app. By connecting with fans on social media, she builds the community and then funnels them to her monetization tools that she has more control of. You don't have to be a former teen mom star on MTV or a fitness influencer or have a million followers to have your own platform. Pretty much any niche can successfully monetize this way, from paragliding instructors to entertainment for horse people and much, much more. Affiliate marketing is another way to make money as a creator. This is where you share links to products you recommend or give out discount codes and then receive a commission on the sales generated. Amazon Associates, ClickBank, and ShareASale are common places to get started for a lot of brands, but plenty of retailers offer their own independent affiliate programs too. If your followers show interest in the products that you're already using, then this can be a great way to earn some extra money. But be careful. If what you're promoting doesn't feel organic or authentic, you'll lose your audience's trust. People can smell a money grab from a mile away, so only recommend what's relevant or will genuinely add value to your content. Joshua Weissman is a chef YouTube creator who does recommendations very well. On his channel, there's a video about making Korean barbecue at home. In the description, there's an Amazon link to a Korean barbecue grill that you can use at home. The item he's recommending is the actual product he's using in the video. So it feels authentic and real and makes me kind of want to buy it. But what do you earn from these links? Well, that depends. For Amazon Associates, each item category has its own commission rate, but most of them are around 3 to 4%. These rates used to be higher, but Amazon slashed them back in 2020. It's a good reminder that all these affiliate programs can change their rates at any time, and it doesn't always take a global pandemic to trigger it. Maybe Bezos just wanted to use that extra margin for another trip to space. <laughs> Sponsorships are a step up from affiliate marketing, and brands are spending more than ever on creator deals. 
On Instagram alone, the global influencer market size already reached an estimated $2.3 billion in 2020, and it's only grown since then. To get started, you'll need a media kit, which is a document outlining your brand and audience information to potential sponsors. Be sure to include data like view counts, follower counts, and audience demographics. Sponsors wanna know who and where your followers are because access to that audience is what they're paying for. While brand deals can bring in more money than affiliate marketing, they also come with their own unique set of challenges. Sponsors are generally more involved in the process, which means you may have less control over what you post. They might request longer ad reads or content that isn't as genuine to you as a creator or person. Tech-focused creator promoting a mobile game or VPN makes sense, but from a chef or beauty blogger, it's not quite as smooth a process. As another word of caution, it will be harder to work with brands if your content doesn't fit what they're looking for or is in any way controversial. So if you talk about tough topics or even just use language that they don't like, it might be hard to land these deals in the first place. If you live stream often, tips and donations are another powerful monetization tool in your kit. YouTube has super chats, TikTok has gifts, and if you have your own platform on Uscreen, you can accept donations on live streams there too. Just like with AdSense and affiliate links, these donations are often small amounts. Let's be real, not everyone has Mr. Beast's budget. Today, we will be donating $100,000 to Twitch streamers. That's a lot of money. You're far more likely to get something in the five to $10 range. So while those donations won't pay your rent on their own, they do add up quicker than you might think and are a great way to build a relationship with your biggest fans. When someone donates, be sure to thank them or engage them in some way to make them feel appreciated. If you're doing a Q&A, prioritizing questions from people who donate is a great way to say thank you and encourage others to donate as well. People who donate on your live stream show that they like your content and are willing to spend on it, meaning they're the audience you wanna nurture and encourage to check out your premium offerings. If you're interested in learning more about how Uscreen can help you monetize, be sure to click the link right here, right now. And if you're not ready for that, then be sure to check out the video on screen right here, right now to level up your creator business. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.